and Jesus Christ is eternal Son, the true God, and then the Holy Spirit, one God blessed for eternal, and do acknowledge the Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testament to be given by divine inspiration. If you did not profess that profession of faith in 1688, you didn't go to any types of structural authority. Commonwealth Constitution, section 42, every senator and every member of the House of Reps shall before his seat make and subscribe before the Governor-General, who is a UN delegate. The former one was a Freemason, so it's really not worth the oath you're taking. Or some person, an oath or affirmation of allegiance. In the form set forth, now at no point did the current senators or House of Reps swear an allegiance to the Crown or the Queen. You let them get away with that. Write to any of them and say, show me a copy of the allegiance you swore, Barry House included, and I want a copy of it and I want to see if it goes in line with your constitution oath. Is that a reasonable co letter to send? Um, there's the oath. It says, I, Barry House, I'll say it, do swear that I, or Kevin Rudd, that I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. When they took the crown out of Western Australia, how can they fit in with that? You got my point? Why'd you let it happen? Did you get to the courtrooms where these issues are? Commonwealth Constitution, Section 49. The powers, privileges and immunities of the Senate and House of Reps and the members of the committees of each House shall be as declared by the Parliament until declared shall be those of the House Commons House of Parliament of the UK. So Section 49 is the United Kingdom House of Commons. Is that correct or incorrect? And yet you chuck the crown out. How can you do that when all your powers, privileges and immunities come from that House? Amen, Aussie. Section 128. Now that's only a portion of it. The proposed law for the alteration thereof must be passed by an absolute majority of each House of the Parliament and not less than two or more six months after through both Houses. The proposed law shall be submitted in each state and territory to the electors. They don't intend to give you a referendum to slam dunk this. They did not give you a referendum to take the Crown out of the states they're doing at the moment. So they're going to substitute a plebiscite for a referendum. That's a trick. There's your trick. Plebiscite for an Australian Republic bill was put before the Parliament in 2008 by Senator Bob Brown Tasmania. Now could Senator Bob Brown be sitting legally with the West Australian Senators who knew that the Crown was out when they were sent to Canberra? Could he? Now the answer is no. Why? Because if you've got 12 senators who can't sit, well you can't form the Senate. A bill for an act to require a plebiscite and whether it shows, so they're not going to give you a referendum, they're going to give you a plebiscite and that's a trick. They learned it in the French Revolution because a plebiscite is a non-binding legal thing. There's your bill, already before the Parliament, put there by a senator from Tasmania in agreement with the other senators who are sitting illegally because the Crown's out, all ready to slam dunk you and ship you into the UN. So don't think this is UN gender yet to come, it's here already. And your preachers in this country are sitting silent on the issue, are they protecting the children? Should they apologise to the children already for handing them to the UN? I think they should. Section 109 of the Commonwealth Constitution states, now remember, these constitutions are already suspended unless you activate them. Section 109, when a law of a state is inconsistent with the law of the Commonwealth, is this law inconsistent with the law of the Commonwealth? This took the crown out of 80 acts. Is it inconsistent with the Commonwealth Constitution? There's where it says, the latter shall prevail and the former shall to the extent of the inconsistency be invalid. Judge this law, what are you going to say? Valid or invalid? invalid. You're the jury. You're the jury because you're the elector. Section 106. Saving of constitutions. The constitution of each state of the Commonwealth shall 
So that's saying this, the constitution of the state of Western Australia, the constitution of, is subject to the Commonwealth constitution. You can't touch your state constitutions if it contravenes your Commonwealth. That's why they want a republic constitution, because it tidies up all this illegal activity. You'll tick them and give them a grace and send them into the UN. Subject to this constitution, continue as the establishment of the Commonwealth or as the admission or establishment of the state, as the case may be, until altered in accordance with the constitution of the state. You got the best constitution in the Commonwealth and you, don't, you didn't let them, you didn't make them abide with it. Those three acts, the Australia Act 1986, the Courts and Tribunals Legislation Act, Further Amendment Act 2000, and that's this act. So there's the evidence clearly before you. This was enacted on May 2000 and took the Oath of Allegiance out of the Legal Practitioners Act. Every lawyer, magistrate and judge in Victoria is sitting with the oath out. Did it contravene the Commonwealth Constitution? Jury, I'm talking to you. Yes, yes. Amen. You're the jury. <coughs> and then look at the last one. Acts Amendment and Repeal Court and Legal Practice Act. Did it contravene the Commonwealth Constitution? Yes. Absolutely. Then it's invalid. Why are they still sitting? Because Aussie didn't move. You're in a war. They've declared war on you. They intend to destroy Christianity and smash your civil governments. Now look at the Australian Act, Section 14. Amendment of Constitution Act of West Australia. Section 50 and 51 are amended. But look at the next section. Acts, Amendment and Repeal Courts and Legal Practice Act, West Australia, Part 8, amendments about the Crown. There's, just in Part 8, which is Part 5 as well and there's a whole lot of others, there's about eight, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. There's 12 acts repealed or amended in that section alone. And look at the last section. The Supreme Court Act is amended. And I'll show you what happens here. Look. At section 130 of this Acts Amendment and Repeal Courts and Legal Practice Act, which is this act, Supreme Court Act is amended. It says the second schedule is amended by deleting our sovereign lady Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, and inserting instead the state of Western Australia. That means Wayne Martin inserted himself and chucked her out. That was with your permission and consent, wasn't it? Is it illegal? Yes. Is he sitting illegally? Yes. What are you going to do? Because if you do nothing, welcome to the UN. Because that's where he's been told to ship you. And he's agreed. Why? Because he's getting paid salary to do that. But did he ship his whole family into the UN? Yes. yes. Exactly. Separation of powers. Now that comes from their own document in the Supreme Court. It says the judiciary is one of the three arms of government along with the parliament and the executive. The judiciary is independent of the... Sorry, did the judiciary go into this act and take the crown out? So can it be independent? Is it sitting as an impartial judge? Well, it substituted her for him. The other two arms of government, this independence is one of the most vital safeguards of a democracy. Judges are bound by their oath and affirmation. They don't give a hoot about it. That's only what you call, what they call uh, global democracy, which in actual fact is global communism. They don't give a hoot about their law as long as somebody's paying to sit there to get judgments against the Christians. And it's happening right here in Perth. Masonic decree, judges and senators. This is what the Masons say in the Lodge. In the most important and fundamental affairs and questions, judges decide as we dictate to them. Even senators in the higher administration accept our councils. That's your Masonic stuff. Interpretation Act, Section 5, Western Australia. Her Majesty, Her Majesty Queen, the King or the Crown means the Sovereign of the United Kingdom, Australian or other realms and territories. The head of the Commonwealth includes the priests and heirs. To actually do this, you've got to repeal that out of the Interpretation Act. Did you repeal it? West Australian Constitution and Referendum Condition. A bill that expressly and implicitly in any ways affects any of the following sections of this Act, namely Section 2, 3, 4, 50, 51 and 73. Now 50 and 